the start, there's no stopping them. I've been the target of enough. I know what poor old Kevin's going through. Kevin? You know, about the police coming to see him the other day. People are bound to be curious, aren't they? Yeah, well, uh, people should mind their own business, shouldn't they? Well, that's what I think, but when you've got a brother like that, it's very easy to jump to conclusions, isn't it? Is it? Like what? Well, you said yourself it was trouble. Perhaps the police are looking for him. Yeah, well, I think that's Kevin's business. Yes, but uh, we've got to look after our own, haven't we? I mean, if Kevin's covering up for him, he could end up in very serious trouble. All I'm saying is, you can't blame him for protecting his brother up to a point, but it does depend on what he's done. What's that? How about robbery with violence? So what are you saying? Well, far be it from me, but it just seems odd that no sooner has Kevin's brother turned up than the police are after him, they find a stolen car near Kevin's boat, and Maggie finds someone in the station pinching her purse. Someone who's wearing a jacket, just like Kevin's. <laughs> including the baby. Going through the basement. Sir? No. Yep. Go up. Let's stand down to the basement in here. George, in through the front. Start making sure the house is empty. Yep. All right. Here you go. Take this. Let's have a look. Hold on, I'll find him over first. All right, let's get him out. Bloody hell. 
Both died, I don't know. Come on, let's get some more on it! Don't be looking down there, all right? 